Aloha and mahalo. That is hello, aloha, and mahalo is thank you. Thank you for joining us this evening. Looking forward to a fun night, having a luau. Here we are all festive with fun flowers and fruits and we have a fun dip this evening, which actually I thought was gonna be a heated dip, but it's actually chilled. So we have a Hawaiian dip tonight, and we also are going to do a Hawaiian margarita. I know the, the typical is the Mai Tai, but I wanted to do something a little different tonight. So I'm having it for the first time and looking forward to it. And very excited that everybody is going to join us tonight. We're at a new time tonight, 6.30 versus 5.30, because uh, we're starting to get back and get busy again. So that's a good thing. We're excited about that. So wanted to introduce myself. I'm Julie Johnston with Travel Light by JJ, and I create effortless luxury itineraries for inspired experiences and busy professionals as well as groups and for the active aging travelers as well. And so I love to put together really beautiful, wonderful, customized itineraries and then sprinkle a lot of fun things on them with excursions and soft adventure and you know adventure. I love that. Uh, that's how I like to travel and I like to share that uh, with the folks that I like to do um, wonderful itineraries for. So that's my services and my specialty areas are Europe, Mexico, the Caribbean, and I also love Hawaii. My family and I were there um, probably back in the 80s and we had a wonderful time. We went to Maui and we went to Waikiki Beach and we also, in Maui is the windsurfing capital of the world and my brother, while we my brother, myself, and my father all windsurf. My mother does not. Um, that The guys just did it because the wind was just so powerful I couldn't even begin to try it. So my mother and I did wonderful excursions all day while they were doing the windsurfing. And we would go to the beach and uh, do the horseback riding on the beach. We also one day did a helicopter ride and you're looking down with all the cascading waterfalls coming down over the beautiful mountains with such lush vegetation. It was so gorgeous. And you're up there at the very top of these mountains looking down and they were really able to maneuver you around and see so much. And you can also, um, you know, go probably not so much anymore, but near the volcanoes you got to worry now that we're having them erupt and everything so that's uh some fun active things that you can do that uh, are very exciting we're going to kick off tonight and start doing some travel trivia and we'll go ahead and uh if you're seeing this on the replay we'll also go ahead and take any uh trivia that happens on the replay so feel free to play and then how this works is eric will go ahead and read the question twice and then at the very end, he will go through and read all the answers. Whoever types in the fastest and gets those in, then uh, whoever gets the most right and does it the fastest would be the winner. And I'll announce that tomorrow. So here's to you guys. They're going to be, some of these are easy. So you got to be quick tonight. I know we're going to have some professionals joining us. You do. You got uh, Celeste on, Lisa Chamber Fletcher's on. You yep. got some real good people. Hi, Celeste. Hi, Lisa. I know you both know these well, so get, get your fingers ready. Get ready to type the answers into our travel trivia. And we've got Eric here going to be presenting that. Aloha, aloha. Big cojona here. She calls me Eric, but... <laughs> oh, my big cojona, of course. Here we go. Welcome to the islands of Hawaii. First questions, my dear? Yes, okay. please. Okay. What is the capital of Hawaii? Short and sweet. What is the capital of Hawaii? Second question. What is the name of the Hawaiian flowered necklace? Aloha. Aloha. Yay! <laughs> so we're going to get going with our margarita. And the Hawaiian margarita, we're going to be making it for two. And so... There's one, I also posted the recipe 
um, with the event. So if you need to go back and look at that, you're more than welcome to. But we're going to start with a, a liqueur and one part meaning one ounce. So it calls for one ounce. Uh, so I'm doubling it and doing two ounces. And so they said you can use Grand Marnier or Cointreau. I'm using Cointreau tonight. What are you guys drinking as we speak? And Lisa, it's a luau. I don't want to hear you're drinking wine. <laughs> so we got two parts of the Cointreau. And then we're doing um, two parts of the <laughs> tequila. And so that's going to be actually four ounces because... We're doing it for two. What are your plans for the weekend? It's a gorgeous weekend. I'm here in Vermont. And looking forward to uh, doing some outdoor gardening. The uh, funny thing is, is the ukulele you just saw my mother-in-law called me on a Tuesday night and said to me, uh, excuse me, on a Monday night, and she said, what are you doing tomorrow Tuesday? And I said, nothing, I have no plans. And she said, well, now you do. We're going to go and take a ukulele lesson. And I said to her, well, I don't play the ukulele. I, I don't know how. And she said, that's okay, we're going to go. And I said, well, but I don't own a ukulele. And she says, that's okay, they'll just give it to you. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, and I'm buying. I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll go. So I went to the lesson and these teachers uh, teach the children at the school. So they had um, really inexpensive, cheap uh, ukuleles. And so we went for the lesson and we kept going back to the lessons and Eric's mother could play by ear. She, she wasn't a person that would read sheet music where I have to read every little thing. So I got away from it, but during this pandemic, it's been fabulous because I'm getting back into playing the ukulele and Eric's getting back into playing the guitar. So I, I'm not prepared to play a song for you tonight, but maybe at a later Facebook Live, I'll play for you. Right now, I'm working on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which to me is not very Hawaiian by any means. So I'm looking forward to the days that I could really strum and... Uh, have you all relax and listening to my ukulele. I'm pretty excited. So the next thing that we would be putting into our drink would be uh, two parts coconut water, which is four ounces. So again, we got four shots here. I'm excited. This is supposed to make it very refreshing. Are one of you calling me? And then let's see what else we have. We have uh, three parts pineapple juice, which is a full can here. Six ounces. So we're going to put that in. I'm really breaking my diet. I'm on the keto diet. And so all this sweetness is not supposed to be. And then we're going to do one lime. And so you never know what happens on a live. I've been uh, turning the phone off for my others, but I forgot to do it this evening. So here we go. So we've got one lime juice here. The weary traveler. There you go. He's got the late delayed in his departure. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna mix it up. And I'm going to do a little salt. Eric, why don't you do another trivia for us? Trivia, sure. Aloha again. Uh, what is the nickname of Hawaii? I, I know you guys got to type fast. I, I know like, you know the answers. I like it this week, honey. It's short and sweet questions. What is the <laughs> nickname of Hawaii? Number two, what is the largest island called in the Hawaiian chain? What is the largest island called in the Hawaiian chain of islands? Do -do 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 -do. There we go. Aloha, we welcome you. 
So what's great about Hawaii, which actually is going to be opening back up August 1st, and they're requiring everybody to uh, present a COVID-19 uh, negative test within 72 hours of having that test to be able to come uh, into Hawaii and visit. So that's the update on that local area. Another thing that I wanted to share with everybody is your passports um, that you would be needing when you are wanting to travel abroad. Right now, I was reading that they're just starting to open back up those centers and they're already backlogged um, by like eight weeks and they have like 1.7 million people that they need to process. So it's going to take any new applications probably anywhere from two to four months, they said, after they finally get caught up. So you might want to check those passports and get ready so that when you are ready, whenever that is, that you'll be ready to travel and have the proper documentation. So keep that in mind. And also they're starting to open back up um, the TSA and as far as applications for that and global entry is a, a little slower in coming um, due to the interview process that that would take. So that's some updates for you with the travel. Now we're going to go ahead and shake this up and try, try the margarita. Rebecca Jacobs Willard joined us. Hi Rebecca. Hi Becky. How are you? We're having a Hawaiian margarita. And we're going to be making Hawaiian dip. And I'm pretty excited to try out this new beverage. And you can garnish it with a uh, cherry if you'd like, fruit, um, pineapple. I've got a little pineapple here, extra pineapple. I'm also going to do a little lime because I got the salt. Now you got Megan McKinley. Hi, Megan. How are you? Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're having, get the pineapple thrown in there. And we are having margaritas. Here you go, Eric. Hawaiian margarita. Hawaiian margarita. Got the umbrella. Here we go. This is the best part of this. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Aloha. Aloha. Thank you very Can't much. Can't wait till we can go again. I'm going to start off with my pineapple. Mmm, that's delicious. So what I love about Hawaii is the fact that there's so much to do. Oh. And there's so many different islands. And you can island hop by way of little puddle, puddle jumper planes to go to the various areas. And there's so much different variety that each island offers. And so you can go... Some islands have the championship golfing. You have others like um, there in Waikiki, which has the famous beach. It's, very, it's known for its beach, but you also have phenomenal resorts there. And that's just outside of Honolulu area there. And you have dining and you, the resorts and shopping. And uh, there's a lot of activity and lively, you know, liveliness. If you want something a little more quiet. Um, Oahu would be my suggestion and that's a lot of times the first destination if you've never been to Hawaii. Uh, a lot of people like to go to Oahu and it's a much slower pace there. Also like I had mentioned um, Maui is a place that we had gone and then that is also the windsurfing capital of the world. But you have great hiking, you have gorgeous you know, fauna and gardens um, to visit. You have history. If you love history, you have Pearl Harbor that is there. And then you also have the um, battleship, Missouri. And those are both in Honolulu. Right now, closed down. Um, so you wouldn't be able to uh, go into that, but you'd be able to see the exterior of the Pearl Harbor area there. And there's also, uh, you could drive the Waimehu uh, Canyon, and that's beautiful. And just, if you've seen uh, our canyon here, you know, it, the Grand Canyon, uh, it's just as amazing as well. And you can hike the Kalalo Trail, and 
there's just like I said so much to do at each area um, you can go to the Hawaiian volcano national parks and you can swim with the mantas and it's such a wonderful experience and again that's what I love to do is to sprinkle all the experiences on top because that's what really makes the trips in my opinion and there's plenty of time for rest and relaxation the beaches there are amazing there's diamond head volcano um, which is unbelievable the volcanoes there's so many there uh, to choose from to go as far as uh, seeing and taking advantage of the opportunity to see the volcanoes so let's get into our appetizer next we have uh, tonight it's a cold Hawaiian dip and it's got a mixture you put in a bowl uh, the cream cheese which is eight ounce cream cheese two tablespoons of sour cream and then a quarter cup which you'll use uh, the pineapple uh, that you buy in a can or I bought fresh actually I'll cut up there whatever juice is in there use that as a quarter cup mix those three ingredients together and put them like in a pie dish or something and then you take cheddar cheese which I'm using Vermont cheddar so it's white instead of the orange which is just dye just so you know and I learned that at the cheese factory so <laughs> Because, because Americans were scared of buying uh, white cheese because Americans, those slices, those craft slices were always orange. So they, they were too afraid to buy white cheese. So then they started coloring it so that people would start buying it. And it worked. So anyway, this is Vermont white cheese. And so you sprinkle that on top. And then you'll go ahead and add your toppings. So there's um, a cup of ham that I chopped up. You have green scallions and then um, a bacon bit crumbles and then also pineapple so as you can see lovely little toppings of everything so I'm gonna just sprinkle those on top and then what you do is you throw it in the um, refrigerator and chill it for 30 minutes so I'm just gonna sprinkle those Eric if you want to do some more trivia please we are on round number three. Round number three. If your keyboards, uh, the state of Hawaii consists of how many main islands? The key is main islands. The state of Hawaii consists of how many main islands? And the next question in the third round is Pearl Harbor is located on which Hawaiian Isle? Pearl Harbor is located on which Hawaiian Isle? Type it in. Aloha. Alrighty, so now I'm just putting the pineapple on top. I've been listening to ukulele music I have one of those little home entertainments. I won't say her name because as soon as you do, she gets a little crazy. She wants to take over. You can hear it in the background. But actually, we're not allowed to play it because Facebook will shut you down if you play music. Oh, they will? That, that is not... Allowed. Right. So we have to turn our music down. So anyway, so here's the finished product with the pineapple scallions bacon ham cream cheese pineapple juice sour cream and cream cheese and then you just throw it in the refrigerator and you chill it for 30 minutes serve it with your favorite cracker uh, we'll be doing celery because we're trying to stay away from the bread and everything so I'll stick that over there I, I love this gig <laughs> yeah, Eric loves this. And I also um, have shrimp tonight that we're going to do on the grill and, and do it on skewers with the pineapple, Ooh. which is another favorite. So he's going to be enjoying tonight. We, we get to have uh, new beverages. So cheers to everybody. If you're just joining us, we're having a Hawaiian luau. Cheers, Miss KJ. I, and love, I love that I can travel with you every week. 
Yes, we, we travel to a different place every, every week. So we know that right now we're still basically stay at home or now they're calling it stay safe. And um, we're still with quarantine in Vermont here for any out-of-staters who come, but they're starting to loosen it up uh, to New England area and um, some, I think, uh, let's see, yeah, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey. There's certain areas that they're starting to, if you meet a certain criteria, then you're able to come here without quarantining or limited quarantining as it is. So it's, it's, these are places that I'm bringing to you every week um, to let you dream about what you will be doing in the future. And I really am confident that that will be somewhat, you know, probably like 2021. Some people are already traveling in 2020 and that's perfectly fine. Everybody is putting protocols in place. I was just uh, on a webinar with Marriott and Marriott is completely um, upping their standards. And that is going to be the way that it will be from now on. Uh, this is not just temporary. They are making changes to all of their brands and it's exciting. They've already opened up some of their uh, places down, like one is in Amelia Island, that's already open. And they're talking about how uh, the process is different. The greeting area when you come in uh, to the main lobby is going to be different. They took furniture out and they're, they're definitely practicing social distancing and people are wearing the mask to make everybody feel comfortable. Um, and so it's definitely, people are able to start to move about, but again, it's when you're ready to do that. So looking forward to working with you and I can help you dream in the meantime. I have a funny story that I want to tell you before we wrap it up with our final trivia and we'll go over the answers as well. And we've got a tiebreaker, but it was funny because back in January of 2018, my aunt and uncle always go to Hawaii and stay in uh, Honolulu and they stay there for the whole month of January. And that's when we had the accidental push the button missile alert, if anybody remembers that. And so they're there and my uncle loves to swim every day, does about 70 laps in the pool where they stay. And my aunt loves to go and walk on the beach. And so he's there doing his laps. And next thing you know, all of a sudden, uh, the person, uh, another person at the pool starts telling my uncle that, oh my God, there's a missile alert, there's a strike, we've got to take cover, and they're being alerted all on their cell phones. And my aunt was walking and she had headphones on and had her phone muted, so she didn't know anything of what was going on. She's just walking down the beach and has no clue that the world's going to end there in Hawaii. And so my uncle, the, the quickest, fastest place he could go was the men's locker room. And so, and, and he is an attorney and he used to be in the military, an officer. So he's thinking, all right, where's the best place to go? So he goes into the lavatory and he's in there and this is where he thinks he's going to die, is in the lavatory in Hawaii. And so without his wife, and so he calls his wife, she's not answering. So he leaves her a message and this is the goodbye. This is the goodbye message. I love you, you know, uh, whatever he decided to tell her. And uh, then he, once he realized that it was a mistake and that he was able to live and, and nothing was happening, um, he had funny comments in our family WhatsApp thread as to how he envisioned himself being catapulted on this lavatory through the you know through the air and and going up into space and that's how he was going out was on the commode and so we got lots of laughs out of that and i i love to kid him and say you know what did you say in that message to your wife you know not many people get to have a do-over and so he got to have a do-over and so then when we had the pandemic i said oh my gosh i said and now he lives in new jersey which was one of the hotspot areas. So I was teasing him like, how many lives do you have? He's like a cat. He's got nine lives. He keeps escaping all these, these situations. And then he had another one as well um, that was kind of similar <laughs> to this as well. So he's, he's like my uncle that has nine lives and I get a big kick out of it. But they're, they're one of my biggest clients and love to travel. And um, 
I send them on the Norwegian cruise line all the time as well in the Haven and they like I said go for the month of uh, January in Hawaii but we're going to wrap it up and uh, have Eric come and do some final trivia and then do our answers as well. Show off your appetizer again. Yes. Yeah. We made the uh, Hawaiian dip tonight. And I can't wait to enjoy it. It's going to be nice and chilled. I'm going to throw it in while I'm doing uh, shrimp on the bobby. And the fun umbrella drink. And the Ooh. fun umbrella drink. It, it was delicious. Mine's gone. I need another one. Oh, there you have it. All right. All right, get ready. Round, so how, round four. How but, this works is uh, whoever types in the fastest and gets the most right, I'll announce the winner tomorrow. And then we do a tiebreaker as well. So he's going to do the fourth round and the tiebreaker. And so far, I've been watching online here. I think we're going to open field because people seem to be stumped with the questions. So go back and review the questions and answer because we, we have an open field with, with people who've come in late. Megan, jump on this. And then we have a replay as well. I'm oh, going to right. post a watch party later tonight, and then people can play on the replay as well. Okay, round four. What was the name of the TV series starring Tom Selleck, Mr. Big Mustache, which was filmed in Hawaii in the 1980s? I love that question. Plus, I like this car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. Approximately Ooh. what percentage of the United States pineapple crop is grown in Hawaii. What percentage of the United States pineapple crop is grown in Hawaii? Tiebreaker? Tiebreaker as well, please. Okay. Out of the number of the states in America, what number is Hawaii? Basically, mm -hmm. when did Hawaii come into the states? And right now, they, there's a, a, a vote out to make another state, but that's not one of our trivia questions. Make another state what? Um, Washington, D.C. They're trying to give it statehood. Oh, yes. there you go. So that's a little sideline. So that's the trivia questions. When did the, I... You did the tiebreaker? I did the, the tiebreaker. tiebreaker, yeah. Okay, and now we're going to read the answers. <laughs> the answers are from question number one. What is the capital of Hawaii? The answer is Honolulu. Honolulu is the most densely populated area in the whole state. Quite the tourist attraction. The next question. What is the name of the Hawaiian flowered necklace? These things. We call them leis. They're spelled L-E-I. Lei. The necklace is a Hawaiian symbol of love. Mm. Okay. Pookie. <laughs> what is the nickname for Hawaii? Aloha State. The state was nicknamed the Aloha State because Aloha is used for hello and goodbye and also means love. And I, I take liberties sometimes. When I was young and I went to camp, we used to sing. That was a long time ago. Yeah, we used to sing about Aloha. Aloha means hello to you. It means more than words can say. That's Aloha. Aloha means we welcome you. I'll just get on my way. <laughs> All right, next question. What is the largest island called in, Ho in the Hawaiian chain? The big island of Hawaii. It is made up of five, uh, five volcanoes, with others only are made up of one or two volcanoes. So that's what they call the big island, is uh, the, the largest island. They call it the big island. Did I get that right? All right. Yes, you did. Okay, thank you. Uh, the state of Hawaii consists of how many main islands? The answer is eight. The extra, extra bonus question is if you can type them all in and pronounce them right, you're a winner. <laughs> so I'm not going to pronounce them, but there are eight. All right, next question. Pearl Harbor is located on which Hawaiian isle? And the aisle is Oahu. Oahu. Home of the command of the Pacific Fleet, the base was bombed on December 7th, 1941. I think that was when Stan was born, right? By the Japanese drawing the United States into World War II. Uh, what was the name of the TV series with Tom Selleck, 
which was filmed in Hawaii in the 1980s. Everybody's got this one. Magnum P.I. And now there's a remake of Magnum P.I. Have you seen it? No. There's a new. They remade it. Um, a, a younger Magnum P.I. and the caretaker has now um, switched roles. It's not like an old dude. It's some young girl. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> Higgins. 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 Higgins is, is she... she Anyway. Higgins is no longer a man. It's a it's a woman. Yeah, uh, still has the dogs. Um, approximately what percentage of the United States pineapple crop is grown in Hawaii? This is going to be a tough one. I hope you know your percentages. Because <laughs> pineapple, if you cut off the top and put it in the ground, you can get another pineapple. So, could be happening. This but, is coming from my farmer. We're farming these days. Yeah, the percentage is a hundred percent. One hundred percent. That's huge. According to who? The U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Hawaiian pineapple crop is all of the U.S. crop. So every pineapple you eat, guess where it comes from? Hawaii. Hawaii. All right. Tiebreaker. Out of the number of states in, the, in America, what number is Hawaii? 50. Alaska and Hawaii were the last to be added to the State of the Union. Soon, maybe, possibly, we'll have uh, 52. There you go. Aloha. There you go. So Hawaii has some wonderful opportunities, and one that I'm looking forward to is the ukulele festival. They have a huge ukulele festival, and I'm looking forward to planning to go to that and, and think that would be a lot of fun. So there are so many things I'd love to talk to you and we could dream about and you can tell me your desires and we can discuss individually the different islands and how they would meet uh, your criteria that you're looking for. Whether you want to just relax and be lazy and drive around in a Jeep or if you want to go hiking or if you want to do excursions, you can go snorkeling and sailing and um, horseback riding and helicopter rides. I mean, there's so much to do and see and each island offers such different variety. And so I just want to say thank you so much for joining me. I'm Julie at Travel Light by JJ. I do a, a newsletter every other week. It came out this morning and you can go on my website and sign up for that. And that's uh, Travel Light by JJ and look forward to helping you with your travel needs and thank you so much for joining us we're going to take off next week because it's the fourth of july holiday so uh happy fourth of july to everybody but we'll be coming back to you the week after that thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend bye bye